Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Um, so I have been a very bad content creator. Um, the number one thing that they tell you is consistency. And I haven't posted a video in like, um, probably five to six weeks. So if you're paying attention, you'll probably notice that, um, I'm in a very different setting and that's because Fats and I have moved house as evidence of, uh, some of these boxes here. But yeah, we moved about three days ago and obviously that's, you know, the last few weeks have predominantly been cleaning out our old place, uh, packing up boxes, and then obviously the move and all that in the midst of prep being four weeks out. So I've decided now that we're in, um, we're gonna get back on track and we're gonna get back on track with something really easy and simple and something that uh, I know that you guys enjoy. Uh, which is kind of like a low calorie macro friendly recipe. If you follow me on Instagram, which I'm sure that most of you do, I think most of you found this channel um, through my Instagram page, then you'll know that I posted a story earlier speaking about my absolute love for uh, Domino's and the fact that I'm distraught that they've now closed in South Africa. And my absolute, absolute favorite thing from Domino's was their cheesy garlic bread. And um, to be honest, I loved it so much. Sometimes I would even just order two of those and not even have one of their pizzas. But they're closed now. I felt like something was very much missing from my life after the day after my, uh, my last show because Domino's was always my go-to. Um, so what I am conjuring up tonight is essentially a lower calorie, macro friendly version of their cheesy garlic bread. It is the first time I'm trying it. So hopefully it goes according to plan um, but I've lined up all the ingredients here just so you guys can see it so we have first and foremost um, some white flour we have some low-fat Greek yogurt we have baking powder uh, we have two different kinds of cheeses we have the slimmest choice reduced fat gouda we also have mozzarella and then we have garlic powder, salt, and Italian herbs. So that's what we're going with. What we're actually going to be making it in is this uh, Instant Pot Vortex air fryer. We did uh, have the, the Philips one, uh, but we recently got this because I'm experimenting a little bit more now with the, the cooking and the food kind of thing. And this is just more functionality and a lot more space. So this, this recipe wouldn't have been possible in the in the previous one. So yeah, I'm gonna get all this stuff ready and then I'll talk you through how to make this bad boy. See you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so I've written all this down. I think I'm pretty much good to go. So the first thing we're gonna do is mix all the dry ingredients together. Um, so that would be uh, the all-purpose flour, which is 120 grams. So I have the, the bowl and the scale here, I'm just gonna weigh it. I don't like using cups because that's pretty inaccurate. So you're gonna have 120 grams of this flour. All right, then we've got half a teaspoon of baking powder. Right over here. Seems like half a teaspoon. Okay, then we've got a quarter teaspoon of garlic salt. I can't actually fit the teaspoon in there. But I'm just gonna eyeball it. Too much garlic is never a bad thing. All right. We've got some regular salt. Just gonna crush them there. Good. And yeah, that's it. So then we're just gonna mix up these uh, dry ingredients here. And then we are going to add in, add in the Greek yogurt and stir everything together until a, a dough forms. So we're gonna do 150 grams of the Greek yogurt. So the Greek yogurt essentially functions as um, a 
low calorie, low fat replacements are kind of like all the butter and oil. If you're using, um, doing a recipe for kind of like something like a dessert, something sweet, you can also use um, applesauce or pureed pumpkin as a replacement for the, for the butter. I've never actually done anything like this before, so it'll be interesting to see what kind of dough this actually forms. You don't want to add too much in case it becomes uh, too runny because then you can't take it out and there's no going back. Uh, so rather add too little and you can always add in a bit more as you need to. Okay guys, so you can see, kind of see the consistency of this dough. It's actually kind of um, pretty dry. So the amount of Greek yogurt that I initially added in was right. I actually had to redo that because it became a little bit too watery. So it still has to be quite uh, dry and um, doughy like this. All right, so now that we have this ball, you're just gonna form it. I mean, you can pretty much form it into whatever shape you want to. Um, but based on how I want to cut it and also based on the shape of the air fryer, I think I'm just going to do it kind of in the, in kind of like a squarish, squarish kind of vibe. Um, you can use a rolling pin if you want to, but I'm just going to use my hands like this. So yeah, you're going to do it like that. Right, and basically what we're going to do over here is set this uh, instant pot to bake. Time is going to be 12 minutes and the temperature is going to be around about 200. Let's make it 202. Start that up and then we're just going to get about one tablespoon of oil ready to go in this glass just to brush the top of the dough on each side. All right. So I'm just trying to flatten this out a little bit more. Go. I like it to be neat and not perfectionist here. So, then, guys, just so you know, what we have cooking in the background in the new oven is actually a find by Fats from uh, Instagram from a page he follows, which is this Woolworths creamy chicken lasagna. Now, when I saw this, I was like, no, there's there's no way we're going to be able to eat this and fit this into our macros, but. The reality is that a 200 gram serving, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm gonna read it to you. 200 grams has 19 grams of protein, 16 grams of carbs, and only eight grams of fat. So I mean, all in all, that's pretty macro friendly. That essentially means that, um, I mean, I'm having like 350 grams tonight, which is almost half of this. Um, so the beef lasagna, obviously a lot heavier um, in terms of fats and calories, but this chicken lasagna is really good. They must be using, um, they must be using chicken breast in here. Oh, the cheesy garlic bread is just gonna be an accompaniment. The lasagna is in here right now. I think it's got about another 20 minutes to go. So you can see it cooking away in there. And we are ready to put our cheesy garlic bread dough in the air fryer. So let's try and transfer this and see how it goes. This is this is the part that I'm most concerned about. <laughs> okay, so we just have to keep this all together. Do it slowly. And there we go. Just use this olive oil over here just to brush the top of this very lightly. 
you know, obviously just give it that crispy golden brown color. So there we go. And we're gonna let this go for about 12 minutes and yeah, see how it goes. Okay guys, so this is what we're working with right now. So basically what I'm gonna do now is just use um, the spatula to flip this thing over. Now we're going to just put the rest of the oil on the other side, put the cheese on top, and then put it back in for another five to six minutes. And I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay guys, so this is pretty exciting. This is what the end result looks like. It looks absolutely amazing. This is ostensibly four servings. That's what I logged it as. So I'm gonna put the servings, um, I'm gonna put the macros per serving up on the screen. And then uh, when we're eating, I'll take a little snapshot of uh, the completed meal alongside the lasagna and put in the macros for the entire meal. But that is looking pretty good and uh, pretty cheesy. So let's hope that goes well. What I will say is that uh, what I didn't show you is that I added in some Italian herbs onto this as well. So if you want a little bit more of an Italian pizza tasting vibe, then uh, do that as well. Cool guys, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah. All right guys, so that's a completed meal with the lasagna. I'm gonna put the macros on the screen right now. Enjoy. Let me know if you try this recipe, leave a comment below. And yeah, let me know what you think. It tastes pretty damn similar to the Domino's one, if you ask me. And it's probably about 20% of the calories. So enjoy it. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys next time.